I've opened up a hotel website here. When this site first loads, there's no header or top navigation showing, but as we scroll down, you'll see the navigation bar is here, and as we scroll past it, it sticks to the top of the browser window and then stays there as we scroll. When we want to prototype a sticky header like this in Aksher, one way we can do it is to make a copy of our header and then set the copy so that it's pinned to the top of the browser window. Then we can use the on window scroll event to show and hide the pinned header as we're scrolling up and down the page. The first thing we're going to need is a copy of our navigation bar here. I'll hold down the option key, that would be the alt key on windows, and drag out a new copy. And then I'll move it up to the top of my prototype by going to the style panel and using coordinates of 0, 0 for the x and y coordinates. That'll move it right up to the top here. I'll rename this navigation panel sticky header because this is the one that we're going to stick to the top of the browser window. Next, I'll go to the properties panel and I'll use the pin to browser feature here. This will pin that header to the top of the browser window. I'll keep the defaults of left and top and make sure that that keep in front option stays checked so that as we scroll up and down, our content doesn't cover up our navigation. This pin to browser feature is only available for dynamic panels. If we preview our prototype now, our header is pinned, but there's a little problem with the size. It's not stretching to fit the window like the rest of our content. So I'll go back to our prototype now and go to the page inspector where we've got some actions set up in the on window resize event. We've already got some things here that are making this prototype feel more responsive. I'll need to add a new set size action to set the size of our new pinned header to make sure that it stretches to fit the browser window as well. I'll click set size and click our sticky header here. And for the width, I'll just use window.width to make sure that it stretches to fit the browser window. I don't want to change the height at all, so I could either blank it out or use target.height to keep it the same. Now when I click OK in preview, our sticky header is stretching to fit the browser window. When I click on the header itself, you'll notice that there are already some actions set up here as well, so that when the header resizes, it sets the size of its own background image and moves that navigation group into the center. So that all we had to do was set up that one resize event for the entire panel, and then the panel resized and centered its own contents. That's a technique I use a lot when I'm working on responsive prototypes. Okay, so now that we've got our sticky header pinned and resized, we need to hide and show it as we scroll. I'll click on this hidden checkbox to hide it because we want to start off with it hidden when we first load up the site. And then I'll click on the page inspector and we'll set up the action to show it in the on window scroll event. I'll select a show action and then click our sticky header here. We only want to show that sticky header after we've scrolled down past our original navigation bar. So we'll need to add a condition here. I'll select value and then use the function button to select the window.scrolly property. We can check the value of window.scrolly to see how far we've scrolled down the page. We only want to show our sticky header after we've scrolled down our original navigation bar. So we'll select greater than here, and then we'll need to get the y coordinate for that original navigation. I'll add a local variable for that original navigation bar widget. It's called navigation panel and I'll call it navbar. Now that I've got that local variable set up, I can use it up here in double brackets. And then I can type dot y to get the y coordinate for the top of that navigation bar. I'll click OK in preview, and now we can see that our sticky header starts off hidden, but then as soon as we scroll down past our original header, our sticky header panel appears and we've got our navigation that looks like it's stuck to the top of the browser window. When we scroll back up though, it doesn't disappear, it just stays there because we haven't added any actions to hide it. So I'll go back to the prototype now and double click to add an else case to our on window scroll event so that we can hide our sticky header again. So now we're telling Aksher, if we scroll down past our original navigation bar, show that sticky header. Otherwise, if we scroll back up, we're going to, oops, I had show here. We wanna hide that sticky header again. Now when we preview, we've got exactly what we want with that sticky header showing and hiding as we scroll past our original navigation bar.